Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comdarchi Podcast Season 4. Saison 4 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et And maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pierre Thibault. Hello. Thank you for being with us today. You are architect, Canadian architect. Yes. <laughs> And uh, in two or three sentences, could you introduce us to your architectural practice? Yes. Um, I work in Quebec City. I'm also a teacher at the School of Architecture. And um, I like to uh, work uh, with the landscape. For me, the, the border between uh, inside and outside the Uh, doesn't exist in real for me. I like to have this uh, fluidity between the the environment and, and the architecture. And and I try to develop the the most integrated uh, architecture in our territory. Yes, your team is a little. Yes, yes, we are like a, a family. Mm -hmm. I like to work with a small team. We are uh, uh, around 10 people. We work in. Uh, old uh, bakery <laughs> in Quebec City. We have a large table and we <laughs> eat, we have a pleasure to eat together around the, the table. And it's a, it's a real family. We have a fireplace and it's a, like at home. <laughs> yes. You are lucky because uh, you have a lot of space. Yeah, it's uh, so different. Yeah, uh, I live in the past in Paris, but uh, I like so much. But it's, in terms of density, it's completely uh, different. We have a, a, a large uh, uh, landscape, and yes, it's another life. It's another world, in a sense. If you have a lot of space around you, you it's easy to have this uh, relation with the trees, forests, and everything. It's so uh, uh, it's not so far, and it's why every weekend I have the pleasure to walk in the forest with my. The scale is very different. Yeah, 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 yeah. and mm -hmm. the the presence of of nature also is uh, so important. And uh, another very different aspect of our life, it's we have really four seasons. A big difference between winter and summer. We have an incredible difference. It's maybe uh, minus 35 or... Uh, it's incredible, but it's also for an architect, it's uh, <laughs> a real challenge. How to design in this very, very different condition. But uh, it's also, uh, <laughs> for me, a pleasure to, to try to find the best uh, solution. Okay. Now, can you tell us about your um, projects of schools? Yeah, uh, I wrote a, a book uh, of six years ago, and uh, one chapter in, in this book was about school. I visited uh, a very, very... Uh, incredible school in Scandinavia and uh, I've, I'm, I'm so impressed when I enter, uh, enter in the school at that time everybody smile why? it's possible to be in a school and everybody like to be there and uh, with my colleague who was also the writer with me, why it's we don't have this kind of school in uh, Quebec and uh, in Canada, we are a lot of money, we have a, a beautiful landscape. Oh, it's a, and I realized because we have the bad rule, we have to reinvent, to develop new rule, to create a, a better environment for the child. I remember when I was young, the, the best, the terrible day in my life was the first day at school. What <laughs> is this block in brick? Without trees, what? It's like a, a prison, not uh, like a school. And it was, in my memory, an extremely uh, bad uh, experience. And it's why, no, the, the school has to be attractive, to be like a beautiful house in a park. 
We have to so, create the best condition for mm -hmm. every children, independent if you are uh, the good condition to live or not. Uh, we have to create uh, the, the best yes, space. But it's not easy. It's difficult to change. Yeah, I realize it's it's a lot of energy. I I created this uh, lab we uh, we call lab school or labical in French, but. Uh, With a lot of energy, with a lot of people, very motivated, it's possible. And we have uh, the, <laughs> I don't know, the ability to convince the, our Ministry of Education to uh, create uh, five uh, different schools to uh, maybe to show another uh, vision, another, another direction. How is it possible to reinvent it? And we reinvent uh, each uh, part of the school with the children. It was a real pleasure with the, all the, 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 the person around the school. And I realized how this kind of discussion was not uh, an habit in our uh, uh, society. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Thibault, now you open an exhibition about your work, about the team of territories on landscapes. Uh, this exhibition is at the Galerie d'Architecture, Rue des Blancs-Manteaux in Paris. It's a very uh, well-known gallery. Bravo. Yes, yes. Uh, Until the end of May. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a real pleasure for me to come back in, in Paris. Uh, uh, I was a student in Paris when I was a, a teenager. <laughs> Since that time, Paris is very important in my life. And I also, I'm a teacher at the university and uh, mainly my student came from France and it's a little bit strange but uh, I have an incredible uh, good relation with uh, many architects in, in France yes and, and I received this invitation to uh, present uh, uh, many of my uh, projects in, in Paris it's like uh, uh, the idea was to recreate uh, uh, maybe a, a small portion of the of my country uh, uh, If you visit the the, uh, the exhibition, you will have the feeling to be in, in Quebec in, sometime in winter, sometime in summer. And you will also see a, a lot of models because we, we work uh, for us. The, to use models is so important to realize the, the real presence of the architecture in, uh, in our site. And uh, a lot also of uh, drawing. Drawing and, uh, and uh, model are... Uh, Or a bit to, to work. Yes. And you like to use timber too? Yeah, it, it's uh, mainly we, we try to use uh, the wood uh, structure, but also wood for main <laughs> uh, part of the house. It's some projects are totally in wood and sometimes with the same uh, <laughs> type of wood because I like the, 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 the light on the wood. I like this... Uh, I smell the, 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 the wood. It's since uh, when I was a, a teenager, the, the presence of wood is so uh, important. And this material is well connected with uh, our climate. Uh, it's uh, good in winter, good in summer. And, uh, and yes, uh, and we have a lot of wood. It's uh, also uh, with uh, the um, in term of uh, energy, it's a, a good idea to... Uh, To use this material for our project. Okay. Uh, something else? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Paris is an incredible city. I suppose uh, if you have time, take uh, have a look at, at uh, our exhibition and uh, yes, take Galerie d'Architecture Rue des Blancs Manteaux. À Paris. À Paris. I yes. will meet you uh, at the exhibition. I will be there sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> So, thank you very, very much. It was a real pleasure to be with you in Paris tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Next time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Rebourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, 
And until then, take care of yourself.